Chemists use valent shell electron pair repulsion, or VSEPR theory, to account for the shapes of molecules. The theory is based on the idea that like charges repel each other until repulsions are minimized. The like charges in this case are the groups of valence electrons around a central atom in a molecule or ion. We'll represent them as bars attached to a sphere and show the electrostatic repulsions as yellow arrows of varying width. The simplest case has two negative groups around a central atom. At any angle less than 180 degrees, electrostatic repulsions push the bars apart. Repulsions are minimized when the bars attain a linear arrangement. Electron groups can be single bonds, as in gaseous beryllium fluoride, double bonds, as in carbon disulfide, triple bonds, as in hydrogen cyanide, or, as you will see shortly, lone pairs. Three negative groups attached to a central atom attain minimal repulsions in the trigonal planar arrangement, which has an ideal bond angle of 120 degrees. We observe this angle in molecules with three identical groups, such as boron trifluoride and sulfur trioxide. Molecular shape is determined by the positions of atoms, not electron pairs. Therefore, if one of the electron groups is a lone pair, the molecular shape is not trigonal planar, but bent, or V-shaped. Since a lone pair is held by only one nucleus, it is less confined in space and exerts greater repulsions on nearby bonding pairs. As a result, the bond angle is less than 120 degrees, as you can see in this model of ozone. Four electron groups around a central atom attain minimal repulsions in a tetrahedral arrangement, which has an ideal bond angle of 109.5 degrees. The tetrahedral shape is very common, especially in organic molecules. An example is methane, the simplest hydrocarbon. With one of the four electron groups, a lone pair, the shape is trigonal pyramidal. Since a lone pair exerts greater repulsions than a bonding pair, the bond angle is less than 109.5 degrees. Ammonia is a common molecule with this shape. Its bond angle is 107.3 degrees. When two of the four groups are lone pairs, the molecule has a bent, or V, shape. Two lone pairs exert greater repulsions than one, so the bond angle is reduced even further. Water, for example, has a bond angle of only 104.5 degrees. Four electron pairs fill the valence level of a period two atom but one from period three or higher can use d orbitals to expand its valence level and bond to more than four atoms. Five electron groups minimize repulsions when they point to the corners of a trigonal bipyramid. Here we find two ideal bond angles. Equatorial groups lie 120 degrees apart and axial groups lie 90 degrees away from equatorial groups. When phosphorus reacts with excess fluorine, the trigonal bipyramidal molecules phosphorus pentafluoride forms. Once again, when lone pairs are present, different shapes result. But a lone pair in an axial position creates three strong 90-degree axial equatorial repulsions, whereas a lone pair in an equatorial position creates only two 90-degree repulsions. Therefore, to minimize the number of 90-degree repulsions, lone pairs always occupy equatorial positions. As before, lone pair repulsions reduce all other bond angles. With one lone pair, the object has a seesaw shape. Sulfur tetrafluoride is an example. With two lone pairs, the object is T-shaped and the two remaining angles are less than the ideal 90 degrees.
Bromine trifluoride is a T-shaped molecule. The final shape in the trigonal bipyramidal arrangement occurs when a third equatorial lone pair repels the axial groups to 180 degrees. The object has a linear shape, as in the case of the triiodide ion. The final common arrangement has six electron groups attached to the central atom. Repulsions are minimized when the groups point to the corners of an octahedron and thus lie 90 degrees apart. Sulfur hexafluoride has an octahedral shape. Unlike the trigonal bipyramid, all positions are equivalent in an octahedron. So one lone pair can take any position to give the square pyramidal shape with all bond angles less than 90 degrees. Iodine pentafluoride has this shape. To minimize repulsions, a second lone pair must lie 180 degrees from the first. The four remaining bonding groups are repelled to the ideal 90 degree angle and define the square planar shape. Xenon tetrafluoride, one of the first noble gas compounds to be made, is a square planar molecule.